And a major merger is going to shake up the supermarket scene across San Diego. The company that owns Ralph's and Food for Less is buying the company that owns Albertsons and Vaughn's. ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky has why shoppers could end up saving money but losing options. You see them all across San Diego County. Ralph's, Vaughn's, Albertsons. Different names, but soon they'll all have the same owner. Friday, Kroger announced it's buying Albertsons, creating the biggest supermarket chain in the country. Kroger's goal is to compete with Walmart, which has been growing its share of the grocery customer base. Industry expert and San Diego State professor Mira Kopik says that's going to give shoppers some benefits. They're going to see about $2 billion in cost savings uh, out of this merger. And where they're going to put it, half a billion is going to go to lowering prices. But there could be a downside. Kopik says the federal regulators who will have to approve the deal will likely force Kroger to sell hundreds of stores around the country. There's a good chance at least a handful will be in San Diego. But he says the regulators will try to protect neighborhoods that have few food choices by forcing a sale to another grocer. Kroger will likely work hard to make that happen since it wants the deal to be approved. They want to be good citizens in the community, both, you know, and they don't need protests in other stores if, if they're closing a store in a, in a say, a, a lower income neighborhood. So they're going to work really hard to get another grocer to come in. But this merger of national giants could create an opportunity for others. I popped into the Barron's Market in North Park, one of their nine locations. Vice President Rachel Shemirani says chain store closings could give them a chance to expand and it could give them a chance to pick up new customers. We're not just selling groceries here, we're trying to uplift our communities, and that is something that the large guys really cannot do as well as we do. These changes will all take time to play out. If approved by regulators, the deal likely won't close until 2024. In North Park, Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News. Kopik says he thinks locally, Stater Brothers, Trader Joe's, and Aldi could try to take over locations that Kroger is forced to sell. Of course, store closures could mean significant layoffs. Kopik says the companies usually offer to transfer employees to other locations, and the new store often tries to hire as many of the old employees as possible.